Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the throne room. We got some new boys on this show. Why are y'all laughing? <laughs> <laughs> this is already starting off as a train wreck. Anyway, I'm going to be your host, Alex King. Y'all better be polite. Introduce yourself. I'm Sean. All right. Hi, Sean. We got a guest star. My name is Nico Forlini. Guest star. Dude, y'all are, y'all are like co-stars. At least you are. Wow, appreciate it. Dude, you, yeah, you and Seth are like, you, like you, Seth and Bryson are pretty much like the on the rotating schedule. Anyway, tell tell us a little about a bit of what. <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourselves. Nico, you want to go first? Yeah, Nico, you go first. Well, Mister Research, football's there. always been part of my life, so I like to call myself the football guru. Football guru. I'm good with that topic. I know okay. I know a wide range of sports, okay. but football is my right. main thing. <laughs> you're, you're a basketball guy? Yeah, more of a basketball guy. Well, and you're That's also a Spurs guy. fan, so yeah. shout out to my 210 again. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit of uh, Kawhi, a little, little afterthoughts. Ooh. We'll get into it later. Uh, what about like a good team, like the Rockets? Stop. <laughs> stop. Like, okay, James Harden, stop. He's, oh, actually, he's too on. extra. He's way too extra. Yeah, and he's also too little, good. With his little like step back game. Yeah. How far did y'all go? How far did we go? Oh, I'm sorry. Our best player got injured, yeah. and then and then left decided us. to be a little. Hey, hey, yeah. my player wouldn't do that. Yo, whatever. Have you seen him without his beard? Yeah. Yo, I he looks like a little here. baby. Yeah, like a child. He looks fun. Like his, his face like goes clothes. in. No, it's just like so round. It's a straight cone. Yeah, it's just so. Oh, well, yeah, his chin. But like I'm talking about, he's just so chubby in the cheeks. Dang. Anyway, so. It's a fourth quarter of the A&M game right now, Northwestern. What's the score? We beat the spread, I know that. Last I saw, I think it was 52-7. 52-7? to, seven. 52 to seven. But at this point, it's like a scrimmage. Yeah. All I mean, the backups, all the backups are, in. are in. I'm impressed with uh, with with Mon. I thought he was, he was a lot better than last year. Throwing the ball good. He got some dimes. That well, one to the tight well, end? For real. Yeah. Ever since Yo. Fisher came, I heard, like, over the offseason, like, he had him restructure his throw. He better. Like, a long process of just better throw motion. Yo, yeah, he he was pretty garbage, I'm not going to lie. Like, I remember, because I, we, I, we used to be Alabama fans. We still are. Yeah. But, but now we're it's second. It's a close second. Yes. yes. Uh, gig him. Uh, anyway, but I remember watching him in that – Alabama game, he got absolutely destroyed. I oh, mean, for sure. he probably had like a negative QBR at that point. It's oh, and then they just got that that fumble six. Northwestern did. Yeah. Oh my god. Crazy. Oh, and then that stupid helmet, that targeting call. I didn't see that one. Both of those. Yo, well, the first one was for, was for sure targeting. I mean, the guy couldn't defend himself, but. The this one, one, yeah, this so one. The guy player, put his head down. Offensive player was definitely trying to do the exact same thing. Uh, that's ridiculous. As I drink my coffee, anyway. So what I wanted to talk about is uh, top five skill position. Whoa, it's a long night here. F- yes, top five <laughs> skill, <laughs> skill positions in the NFL. You want to start with receivers or running backs? It's your choice. I'm gonna start with running backs. I think that's. Area of expertise. Uh, anyone want to go first? You want me to list out my top five? Yeah, list out your top five. List out your top five running backs this year, like at this point. Don't I wouldn't include preseason. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, a lot of them didn't play though. Of course, Todd Gurley. Okay. Well, Can most having, consistent. Yeah, I'm having a hard time putting Todd Gurley and Le'Veon Bell. Like they're obviously at the top two. What? I I don't I I think he's I I honestly I think this is his I'm last pretty, year in Pittsburgh because he might go with the money cuz Pittsburgh won't pay him. But cuz he's not that good. What are you talking about? Yeah, but he's just, he's not that good. He like he look he's good, but he I don't know. I just yeah. Uh all right. So Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell. David Johnson's coming back this David year. Johnson, he came off a, of, what, a, a wrist injury? Yeah, he's a savage. So he's number 3. Yep. Oh, he can't carry the ball good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's crap. That's Stop. crap. You can play football. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, to those Cowboy fans out there. Shout out. 
Um, no shout out. <laughs> Texans all the way. I'm a Texans guy, but I'm a Cowboys guy too. And then, honestly, at the end of last year, Kamara really impressed me. Mm. Are you are you a Kamara guy or a, or a, a Mark Ingram guy? Well, how Kamara was playing. And take, take, he's got take, the first, take what, four how... games of the season this year. Is he, is he suspended? Ingram's suspended. Oh, that's right, Ingram is. I was like, I didn't know Kamara was. No, so he's got the first four games to prove himself. For like, what? What did, what did he get in trouble for? When? Mark Ingram. What did he, why is he suspended? Oh, I think PED, maybe. Oh, my gosh. I'm pretty sure. Ridiculous. But, uh, so that's four or five? Four? Um, no, that was five. That was five. Okay, so... so Gurley, Bell... Mm-hmm. Johnson, Elliot, and then Kamara. Okay, no, I'm setting all biases aside. I agree with you on Gurley. I think he's the best in the in the country right now, best in the nation. Uh, I'm gonna go with Johnson as my number two. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I want to say Zeke so bad, but if you include his like off the field stuff. No, we're talking uh, about that, just playing games. I know, but it, you can't play it. the games if you can't behave yourself. Why? Because he beat he beats ladies. Because <laughs> he did, apparently he did. I don't know. There's, it's like hearsay at this point, but I don't know. Uh, so that's that's three. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Zeke. I think skill wise, he's the best. Um, and I'm gonna hot take here. I'm going Saquon Bartley. What? Number four. Yep. Yo, first, 100%. first play. I don't care if it's preseason. First play, he gets like what thirty eight, a thirty eight yard run. I'm sold. I was, I, I was this close to buying the jersey, and then I realized I wasn't a New York fan. <laughs> Literally, dude. Well, they're in the same conference as y'all. Third division. I mean, it wouldn't matter either way. I would be a, a Giants fan. Uh, I don't know. I think Alvin Kamara has. Has some has some has some skill. Uh, he's just too small for he has me. A lot to prove. Yeah, because well, so he, does Barkley. Same point. Yeah, but if I had to pick between Alvin Kamara and Saquon Barkley, I'm taking Barkley. Which is a hot take, but I think he has more potential to keep developing as a player than Alvin Kamara does. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I would honestly. Keep my list around the same as Nico, but throw Barkley in at top five. Yeah, for sure. Top Instead five. of Kamara? Yeah. For sure, top five. Okay. All right, well. Because he's he new and up and coming. I mean, well, he has, yeah, but he hasn't so proved impressive. himself yet. No, but okay. I think with that one play, he kind of did. Yeah, was, the first play, he came out and punched him in the mouth. Who, who and he's that? a rookie. Who was that again? Who did they play the very first game? The Browns? No. Was it the Browns? Yes, it was the Browns. It was the Browns because he took a picture with Baker Mayfield and posted exactly. it on his story. No, but the Browns. Right. Yo, but no, the Browns. The Browns, are up and no, the Browns. I'm good for the. I think the Browns are good for I'm at on least the Browns. five wins. I'm on this the Browns year. bandwagon, and I'll up you six. Six. I'll up you six. They got weapons. They got weapons, dude. They're stacked. Their their offense this year is stacked. You're right. They but... need a good O line, but a lot of teams in the NFL have a really bad O line, and they're good. Yeah. Uh. How do y'all feel about about Ezekiel Elliott? You think he's going to have a good season this year? No, I'm, he's not going to have the same breakout season he did two years ago. No. Well, well also, also, he's, it's important to remember that that Zach Martin's out. Yeah. Zach so Martin's out. I think he'll have a good season, but not outstanding. I, I really hope. I really. Were you going to say something? No. Go ahead. Oh, I really, I really hope he does have a good season. Well, as a Cowboy fan, think, of course you do, but... Yeah, I don't think... He, right, but I don't think he will. Mm. I just... I don't know. I I think this whole a scandal is going to follow him into this season. I don't know. I feel like if you're just not focused to your... If you're not focused everything on your, on your craft... If you're not... Excuse me. If you're not focusing everything on your craft and you're doing all this off-the-field stuff, it's like... I don't know if we can... You, you shouldn't be the guy if you have all that following you, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, I think he'll be good for at least 13, 1,400 yeah. yards rushing. Yeah, I like that. I like that. St- at least 13, 1,400. Mm, I'd say around there is where he tops out. 
and then I don't know, maybe yeah, fourteen I, touchdowns. Yeah, that's that's a 30. good season though. That's a yeah, good that's season. a good season. Yeah. It's not like his breakout. That's year. like top seven, top seven running back, like they're around that area. Oh, shoot, that might be that's probably top five. Uh, yeah, top. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Uh, I definitely think that the Cowboys are very weak as a team. Who who is Dak gonna throw to, other than Terrence Williams? Allen Robinson. Who is that? They lost Witten also, also, right? Yeah, Witten retired. Yo, he's he's at ESPN now. I mean, he was kind of awkward though. Did you ask who? Did, wait, did he get hurt, Robinson? Mm, I don't know. I, mean, he I think you take away you take away Witt and you take away Dez. <clears throat> Robinson's a good solid. No way. What am I thinking of? No. Yeah. What are you talking about? I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Robinson is for the bear. He plays for the Bears now. Oh my God! You're fired. No, I'm kidding. Um. Also, big so Zach Martin again. You take him off the team. It's like you you lose a huge part of that run game. Huge part oh, of that yeah. pass protection game. Alan Hearns is who I'm thinking of. He also came from Jacksonville, oh. just like Alan Robinson. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything special there. Their DBs impressed me in preseason, though, even though they lost almost every game. Uh, but I like their defense. Sean Lee's got to stay healthy. Um, but who knows? That dude's so old. He could break a hip. Um. Anyway, what, y'all y'all want to talk a little fantasy? I'll go with that. I mean, I'm not a big cowboy fan. I'm straight Texans. Yeah. So that's my that's my team. That's who I go for. But fantasy. I'm oh, oh. Big... Actually, this is this is what I wanted to ask. We'll we'll, 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 we'll we'll come back to fantasy. Yes. How long before Lamar Jackson starts? Oh, um, Baltimore. <clears throat> yeah. I give it two or three games. Two or three games. Yeah, I said I said last week on the podcast like three games max. Three games. Uh, three games max. Max. I I want to see what's he got in front of him. Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. Robert Griffin. Yeah, he has to. He has to beat. He has to win that battle. Okay. It's the same thing (laughs) as with Deshaun Watson last year. They had to go through the first few quarterbacks and realize what they have. Yo, Deshaun Watson is impressive. I was okay. Before the preseason, so like way before we ever saw Lamar Jackson in the pros, what did y'all think of him? I thought he was honestly. I didn't think he was going to make it to the league. Yeah, yeah I, thought, I, I thought I thought he was going to be not a receiver. As a QB, yeah. yeah, but then he came out in that press conference and was like, "Yo, I'm playing quarterback." I thought I was going to be like a Braxton Miller. Yeah, yeah. He exactly. was a stud quarterback in college, and then he comes to the NFL. He transitions to wide receiver, but. He can't excel. There's so or... many guys like that. Johnny Menzel, uh, rest in peace. Tim Tebow, rest in peace. Uh, yo, but actually, have you? If you look up Tim Tebow's highlights at Denver, he's cold. He he's good. Some good they, I don't they, know why they cut him. Because he's a Christian. That's why. He he like they like they didn't want the team captain wearing John three sixteen on on you know their eyes or whatever. Uh, there was a whole thing. There was a whole thing about it. It's like uh, it's just like with the opposite with Kaepernick. No one wants to play him because of the, the stuff that follows it. And there's a lot of controversy with Tebow. That's why no one wanted him. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of lot of guys like that out of college that are just like Heisman candidates, and then come out in the NFL and they're whack. Yeah, Robert Griffin III. The RG three, yeah. Heisman. Well, he he played very well, and then he got hurt. And that's what his downfall was, is yeah. that he tore his ACL. Yeah. But he has a very good season. Yo, are, do you remember where you were when you saw the Alabama and uh, Longhorn game, the national championship, when Colt McGoy got hurt? No. Dude, I remember we we were in like third grade, third or fourth grade. Yeah, that was a long... Happened. And that was when Mark Ingram was on the team. That was when Greg McElroy was on the team. Julio. Yo, dude. That it's man. A dynasty right oh, there. A big three. Greg McElroy, Mark Ingram, Julio Jones, dude. And we, we hurt Colt McCoy like first or second quarter, and the game was ours at that point. 
I mean, we just dominated. And I was like third, I was a third grader just.